Hi 108, it is week eight. And this week, there are two things that we're concentrating on. We're finishing up our work in minor. And for that, we will be utilizing unit 17. I have just a few pages in unit 17 that I'd like you to look at and that we'll look at in class. There's a nice repertoire piece on page 224 called the Cuckoo. So based in B minor, use your knowledge of minor one, minor four, major five, seven to help you with your chord structure. This is a fun one to play and it's one that I would even consider as your prepared piece for the proficiency if it's one that you find that you like. On page 225 you have some sight reading to do. There are two examples here and we'll also use them for transposition in minor this week. And so the quiz for this week due on Friday is your choice of either number one or number two on page 225. Played in the original key and then transpose to the prompt that the book gives you for key. These have wonderful left hands that are based in chords that are frequently found in our minor transposition. We'll look at them in class, again, looking at big picture, seeing the chord structure instead of individual notes to help us be faster and more efficient readers. So that will be your quiz material. There also are Four more harmonizations for you to take a look at on 226, 227. These are ones that we probably won't touch in class, but by this point, with this being the third set of harmonization we've done in minor, you should find it fairly easy to go through and come up with a, high, a harmonic um, left hand based in minor that works. If you're having a hard time finding a chord choice that works, or if you're thinking it sounds a little off, please play it for me in class or come by and let's meet and make sure that you are making the correct choices for the harmonization. You'll notice that there are three more videos posted for this week and this week I'm introducing how our transposition is now going to split off in three different ways based on what your degree plan is. So if you are a BA, a BME, a BM, excuse me, or a music minor, whatever your primary instrument is, is what dictates the type of transposition that you're required to do for your proficiency. So if you are a stringed instrument, you need to look at the string transposition. There's a video that I've posted introducing it, talking about the transposition skills, shortcuts with the clef, and then there's a PDF with examples for you to work on. I encourage you to print these off if you find it easier to work with it in a paper form or have your computer available so that during class, if you need help with them, or again, if you wanna make an appointment and come in and work individually, you've got a resource for you to be looking at. Same thing with band. If you are playing wind, brass, or percussion, you will be doing band transposition. There's a video introducing that, telling you what instruments they're gonna expect you to be able to transpose, and there is a PDF packet of examples there. If you are a vocalist, your trans position will look just like what we've been doing with these short sight reading piano pieces. It will be a short 8 to 12 measure piano piece that will be taken up or down a third. So we will just continue on the same path. I have put a PDF on here though of new examples for you to take a look at and I also encourage all of you, the string and wind brass percussion players as well, the vocal PDF would be great sight reading examples to use as well. I also will mention this week, and it's on your PDFs, that a great resource is pdmpiano.org. It's a website for a text that I used to use a few years ago. It's a free website, you don't need a textbook code, that has a lot of great transposition and sight reading examples. And I'll pull that up uh, during class and show you that as well. So, transposition. We're going to start branching off. This will mean we've got a lot of more individualized work for transposition and then we're finishing up our minor work. Next week then will be our second exam. There'll be no video for next week since there's no new material. The second exam material is listed under exam two. It will also be listed on the home page underneath week nine, telling you exactly what there is and we will use next week in class then to polish that up or, or help you with anything that you're struggling with.